have your mandala drawn out and pretend mine is completely drawn out, then it's time to sharpie everything. So hopefully you draw you drew pretty light and uh, now you're going to go over everything with sharpie. And I wanted to show you a trick when you're doing sharpies to make sure that your lines stay really nice and that sharpie's almost out. So I'm going to grab a different one. When you're doing this, um, it's surprisingly the similar way that you do tattoos. Um, and I know this because I did tattoos for years. But you're going to draw your line and my other Sharpies out too. Whew. All right, I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to draw my line. And when I need to move my hand, I stop. And then when I'm coming back into it, I'm going to overlap that line and keep going. And what that's going to do is not let the Sharpie pull up into a, a little ball. And it will look like a continuous line. Okay. So I want you to work on doing that when you're using your Sharpie. And hopefully you have a better Sharpie than I have because mine is not working very well. Um, but yeah. So the next thing that you're going to do after you sharpie everything is you're going to use some color pencils. And I wanted to show you something on how to blend color pencils. And um, I know you know how to color, but this is a way to do it neatly. Okay, when I'm using color pencils, I do not go back and forth and back and forth like this. Okay, I do ovals. So I'm doing round ovals and what that does, it doesn't create a harsh edge and it creates nice smooth color, okay? You can press harder to make it darker, you can press lighter, or yeah, to make it lighter. And you can go over it several times. And that's the beautiful thing about color pencil is it's all about the layers. So the more layers of color that you do, the better that it looks. Okay. So if I did green and I wanted to do kind of an ombre, I use this and went a little bit lighter on my pressure. I'm going to then go back over that with a lighter green. And again, in ovals. And then I'm going to bring that back out too. And then you have a nice even fade of color. And then if I wanted to go one step further, I could then go into it with yellow overlapping again and then bringing the yellow out. And that creates this nice smooth transition between color. When I'm doing um, coloring with color pencils, I rarely only use one color. I'm going to show you an example. So on this one here, you can see that here I use like three shades of blue. I use like a cobalt blue, a green blue, and a teal blue, and a light blue here. So I use many different colors of blue. This I used a dark green, a medium green, and a yellow green. Okay, uh, here I did orange, red, and yellow. So I hardly ever just use one color because it looks more three-dimensional and more interesting if you have some darks and lights in your artwork. Okay. The other thing that you can do to blend color pencils um, is use white. Okay, white is the universal blender for color pencils. So if you, after you have your nice uh, color put down. You can then go back over it with white and I'm pressing pretty hard and I don't know if you can see this. I hope you can on the camera, but you can see that that blends it very nicely into a nice smooth coloring. You don't have to do this, but if you want to, you can add that uh, for a nice smoothing color. They also sell um, colorless blenders if you want to try one of those, but white works just fine for this. Okay. I hope you enjoy doing some color pencil and Sharpie on your mandala, and I'll see you next time.